Hi, I'm Ms. Monday, and today on Band Fetter, we're shooting the Throwdowns, a band from Maui, Hawaii. First shot will be here in the studio. We're gonna have the band performing live. It's gonna be a little different, and I'm looking forward to shooting it. Second shot will be at a hotel or motel. We're gonna have the band hanging out inside the motel, like they're on the road. Third shot will be the band hanging out outside the motel. We're gonna shoot them here against this awesome motel backdrop, and it's gonna be awesome. So stick around and enjoy the show. As you know, today on Band Photo, we're shooting promotional material for the Throwdowns. Let's take a look at their Band Photo breakdown. The Throwdowns consist of Aaron Smith, Kimo Clark, Ola Shaw, and Ian Hollingsworth on drums. The Throwdowns have developed their own indie rock, pop punk sound that encompasses dance and reggae, all with an identifiable connection to Hawaii. Their debut single, Kihei Town, is from the band's 2009 Don't Slow Down EP. It has raced to the number one spot on the charts of several Hawaiian reggae, rock, and top 40 stations. The band has shown off its genre-defying sound, playing with legendary punk acts like Bad Brains, No Effects, and The English Beat, as well as pop acts such as Panic at the Disco and The Fray. It's their unique mix of hook Latin songs, strong attitude, and a reputation for killer live performances that is drawing a lot of big name attention to the throwdowns. These newcomers have erupted on the island and are ready to do some damage on the mainland. Now let's get back to the shoot. It's gonna be really fun. What do you have planned for makeup, Jenny? Well, the throwdowns consist of three guys and the lovely lady Erin. So for Erin, I'm going to keep her really classic with a nice uh, cat's eye and maybe some neutral colors and some red lips. And for the guys, I'm just gonna keep them looking really masculine and sexy. Awesome, that's so exciting. And Anastasia, what do you plan for hair? I just wanna create some really cool looks for the guys. And uh, same with Erin, I'm gonna do some really fun stuff with their hair, so they're gonna look awesome. Awesome, and Nicola, what do you plan for styling? First look, they are gonna be in their own clothes. Second and third look, we're shooting in a motel, so I wanted 50s vintage, um, lots of plaid pattern. They're gonna look really cool. That's exciting. Yeah. And Nikki, are you excited? Yeah, I'm so excited to shoot some behind the scenes photos. Awesome. Let's put our hands together and go team So this is our band. So this is Nicola, she'll be doing your styling today. Hi. This is Anastasia, she'll be doing your hair. Hi. This is Jenny, she'll be doing your makeup. Hi. And this is Nikki, she's my sister. Awesome, so let's get the band in here and makeup. Good to have you guys here. So exciting. Right now I'm just uh, airbrushing a foundation base on Kimo. We're just gonna keep them looking nice and natural for the lighting. So yeah. it's very refreshing and relaxing to have this done, that's for sure. Mm. Feels great. Kimo's getting airbrushed right now. He's gonna start demanding that now before we go on stage at bed. <laughs> like, sorry guys, need five more minutes. Airbrushing, airbrushing. <laughs> It's funny because Throwdown kind of is a more of a street finding reference or like, you know, pulling liquor for money, all that kind of stuff. And, and we, it's not what we really mean with it. We don't really mean we're going to go and take people down and like, <laughs> let's go. Yeah. But, um, although we could take them. But, um, 
it's just the energy, right? Like we just, we, the way we look at it is like we throw down on stage, you know, it's like we just go for it. We really go hard and that's kind of what it's a reference to. So this is where it's all happening. First shots can happen right here. We're gonna have the band performing live. We're gonna shoot Candids with a nice 50 mil for some soft focus. It's gonna look really nice. We'll be right back with more band photo. I gotcha. I gotcha, I gotcha you too. I gotcha. We're gonna we're gonna tape you guys and together. Phone. We'll line them up and see how that goes. Band phone. Band phone. That's our the new American show. American version. It's a Hawaii show called Band Phone. <laughs> yeah. It's quite popular. Today we have a special treat on Band Photo. The Throwdowns are performing live, and here you go. Heard it on the radio.
location, we're gonna be shooting the band at this motel. I'm so excited because this location is awesome. For the next shot, we're gonna do something a little more slick for uh, Kimo. I think it'll be something different for him, so it'll be cool. I feel like Mr. Rogers. That's amazing. <laughs> for this look on Aaron, I'm doing a 1950s cat's eye. It's a nice little check mark swoosh. You can open up. And it really, the look's going to suit her face really nicely. Yeah, she's gonna look stunning. Definitely gonna go with the guys. I mean, take a look at that. No, it's a classic look. No, I got what you're saying. It's a little like old movie star look at it, you dog. It's cool. I like it. Are you guys ready for the second shot? Yeah. yeah. Let's get this over. You take control, but you never need it to. Oh, Pam. Nice. The red room. I moved to Hawaii from Toronto. Uh, and I met Kimo and I met Ian pretty early on. We, Ian and I ended up playing a concert together by Fluke. And we really hit it off, and he was amazing. And I walked away going, "Damn!" And um, and so, and then he introduced me to Chemo, and Chemo also has a wonderful energy, and and uh, we've been friends for years, and kind of played casually for a while, and then we kind of started about a year ago, a year and a half ago, to really take it seriously and not just be like, you Fine, know, part-time surfer, part-time. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Ola's an amazing producer, and um, and. He came over to produce some songs and killed it. Played like all the guitar, and um, and then we started harassing him a lot. We would like text attack him because we wanted him to move. He lived on the Big Island, which is a different island than Maui, um, and so we bugged him, and, and he decided that he wanted to join the band and move from the Big Island over to Maui. Yeah, I'm really lucky. I've always known what I wanted to do with my life, so I just always known I was going to uh, play music and build things, and it's been pretty good to me. Good to know what you want to do in life. Yeah, I, same thing with me. Basically, all through high school. I mean, I, I started at a young age, so it was uh, when I got to high school. I had a killer, killer music teacher, and um, I got a f stupid football scholarship to something out in Nebraska with the corn and stuff. Or, or it was to go to music school. I got accepted to a couple of schools. So right then, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do this, and this is gonna be my life and my career. Yeah, we've had a ton of stuff happen in like six months and we finished our record and Ola did a wonderful job producing and engineering it and here we are. PA Town is a town um, on the south side of Maui. That's where I live. That's where I've lived since I moved to Maui. Lots of beach parks, skate ramps, and skate parks. It's a really fun place. There's a pretty big transient culture in Hawaii. Uh, people coming and going because it is a state. And Kia is kind of a party town. And uh, yeah, you know, it's kind of about the town and the people and a little bit about my one friend who inspired the song because he crashed his car and the like the downtown area and I had to go pick him up because he was all high and I was like, oh, this town. We, and we needed a reggae-ish track because, um, you know, you, you gotta you gotta put it's your best... break into Hawaii radio. Yeah, you gotta... Yeah. Yeah. You can't just shock him with a rock song. You gotta like... Warm him up with some reggae. There. Yeah. So, where did the... Cars actually was a hit in Hawaii too. Yeah, that one's... It climbed at what, two or three? In... Mm -hmm. Something like that, yeah. But that's crazy for Hawaii because Hawaii doesn't listen to rock. It's reggae, it's roots reggae and like Hawaiian. traditional and Hawaiian. Yeah. So the fact that a rock song climbed the charts there was pretty cool and Stolen Car did. I can never tell I love crinolines actually, they're really super fun. What are they called? Crinoline? Crinoline. Older crinolines. It's like yeah. your Betsy Johnson dress. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Oh, that's in there, that's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. That's amazing. That's, that's really awesome. wicked. Awesome. Yeah. Um, Ola, can you just take a smile?
small step this way. Yeah, even a little more, right there. Skirts. A little injection of crinoline for you. That's right. Good for you. We'll be right back with more band photo. Shot outside. This is the only clothes I have on. That's like it. It's like just stretch. Hola. Hey, Hola. You should tell them what your full name is. No. Yes. It's really Austin. Austin Bernard, Kamea Ola Haola, Aloha, Okalani Kai Shaw. What does that mean? Well, it's like um, it's the tree of life, like perpetuating. The life of the land and righteousness, or something. I don't know. My parents are Hawaiian and crazy. <laughs> <laughs> right There's a huge difference between the Maui scene and the Canadian scene. Um, I grew up in the Canadian scene. I love it here. I think the thing is, there's a lot of um, the roots of it are different, right? The roots of, of Canadian music is more sort of folk. And sing, there's a lot of singer-songwriter based, right? From, you know, like kitchen parties and people singing in their houses and, you know, just you're locked up in the winter, you just play music, right? And the bass in Hawaii is a lot more like Hawaiian traditional music. They're very stuck in tradition. So it's kind of hard for a rock band like us to break through in a place like that. Hawaii is just such a crazy place because uh, people will either take to it or they won't. It's not like, uh, I mean, I've been in California and all across the states, first time in Canada, but it seems like people are a whole lot more open-minded here. Everybody brings something different in that capacity, like I, I've, I've kind of got the, the Canadian singer-songwriter thing with a spastic edge and then you put it with all these guys with their the Hawaiian background and Ian from the, some the states, background. some country background. Yeah, I know we've had a really it's great response, great. we've done huge concerts and gotten lots of cool opening slots and our song has been number one on the radio stations over there and um, we just things just keep coming in and coming in and we just keep working harder and getting better and the next album's gonna kill it the yeah. first one kills it too really it's only been like six or seven months yeah we've accomplished so many <laughs> things we're proud of yeah, yeah. we've oh, accomplished yeah. A when, lot when we set our mind to do something like we can do it as collectively as a group and we, yeah. we pinpoint a focus or a goal and we managed to make it happen. It's really amazing. Mm -hmm. Now we're going on the third shot. I hope this Maui gang can handle it. It's freezing here and we're gonna shoot the last shot right against this awesome backdrop. All touched up, ready to go. Let's do it. So getting hot chocolate when we're finished. And I can taste some on your Let's put Aaron right there in the middle. You're on like that side of the door. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Like that. They're gonna be right here. Gorgeous. Got it. 
We got it. Woo! Thank you. Warm up. Run. Run. And the photos turned out amazing. Oh, oh, high five. Right. Yeah. We'll be right back with more band photo. We changed uh, your money. It's now called Deucey's. The Toonie the is now a Deucey's. Or Deucey's. Yeah. We thought it sounded hipper. Ola brought it up. He's totally right. He's like, I got a pocket full of Deucey's. And we're like, that sounds cool. Toonie? No. Toonie? I got a Deucey in my pocket. I feel cold just thinking about that shoot. Let's take a look at some of their best picks. Cool green glow, interesting vintage styling, and lots of personality make a great photo. The band's on the move, leaving the motel and onto the next show, a rockin' band photo. This is a killer performance shot. It really captures the energy of their live shows. Perfect for an album cover or any kind of promotional medium. Another great performance shot. Tons of personality from Aaron you really get an idea of what a great boy she has in this one. Bright colors, great composition, and a lot of depth in this one. What a vibrant poster shot. The 50s styling and seedy motel room bring our characters to life. All the pieces came together in this one. They wanted some imagery that took them off the island, and this one certainly does the trick. So thanks for watching. See you next time on Band Photo.